this. Yeah, I think this is it, dude. I yeah. really think this is it. Guys, look at that. You see that right there? You just got rocked. Deeper just got rocked. Oh! oh. I thought I ate the, the freaking oh, deeper. The Welcome back to another video, folks. You okay over there, buddy? Yeah, man. Hey, hang in there. Hang on. Whoa. Check this out, man. Look at this. Fresh patch of concrete right there. It's pretty is bad. It, is it just me? Or does a fresh slab of concrete just make a man feel good? Yeah, it makes you feel like you made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you guys are going to see what this uh, slab of concrete's for. But uh, it's going to be a massive project that's coming with, coming to the channel really soon. Charlie just took a fat poop in the field right here. <laughs> he gets so excited when we fire up the old John Deere. He's just, he knows that we're going to be going somewhere, you know, like running around. So he just wants to really go. So yeah, somebody just cut all this freaking hay today. You can smell it in the air this was all like long grass a few days ago and then a guy just randomly came out i guess he's the guy that always does it but i had no idea because i just bought the property but yeah he bailed all this grass into hay so yeah so that's good ran the snakes out of here at least i can't even see my trail anymore because it's all like cut grass now so yeah folks we are doing a little bit of fishing today obviously but what we have not done on the channel in a little while has been bass fishing in my backyard pond. If you guys have been around for a little while, you've seen the first few videos at the backyard pond and you know that we're trying to, we're really trying to improve the bass population in the pond. So it's not, it hasn't been great bass fishing, put it that way. But catfishing is great, the brim fishing is off the chain, and who knows what other fish species there might be here. But we're really trying to remedy that whole bass situation today or not remedy it but at least see if we can put a nice size bass in our hands we're also going to implore employ implore we're also going to employ some uh digital some electronic help later on today to really help us scope out this pond kind of see the water depth the contours the temperature and really get some detailed analytics from this pond we're going to use that stuff a little bit later in the video but first let's fish a little bit all right, Mr. Blooper, what I'd really love to do, Mr. Andrew, Charlie, and Mr. Blooper, I feel like there's a lot of people out here. What I'd really love to do is catch my first topwater fish in this pond. Let's see what that old piece of structure out here has got on it. <laughs> you can still see that structure just sticking out of the water. It's so cool. So when I tell you these guys are like trained, I'm telling you, they're, they're like hanging out right here, right now. I can see the albino guy swimming around because he's super easy to see because he's the whitest guy I know <laughs> besides Badger. Hey. Hey -o. Hey -o, hey -o. Like, <clears throat> you know, we used to have to throw it way out there to get him to come up now. Watch this, like, we'll get him just to come up like right there. Of course the brim are gonna attack it first, but you just wait about 10 seconds and they'll be, they'll oh, be there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at him. Look at the albino, dude. That's such a crazy fish. You know we gotta catch him one day. Look, he's coming up. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, I don't know. I think there's just one. Yeah, I'm tripping out. Yeah, well, you probably saw the underside of another one. Look at him, man. Look how aggressive they are now. They don't even care that we're just standing here. If we had a long net, we could just scoop them up. <laughs> Look at these guys, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is very uh therapeutic when you have a bass pond that you can't catch bass out of it's very therapeutic to be able to uh at least see that there are big fish in here just uh, slightly the wrong species dude i'm not sure but i th feel like i just saw a catfish with a hook in its face <laughs> i would not doubt it because we've broken off on quite a few here trying to catch them whether it was on like jugs or we just noticed a bobber floating out there that we had one on hook and line that got snagged around a tree and uh just, I'm trying to wait for him to come back up to confirm what I think that I, I've seen. Come on, Mr. Mini Clutch. So at this point in time, we've put in more bass than we've caught, <laughs> which I don't really know what that what that means, but that's a little uh, a little disconcerting, as the kids say. It's a little bit of a concern. I'll tell you what else is a concern: throwing a mini clutch on a muscle rod. That feels a little odd, not going to lie to you. Hey, 
Oh, got one. Yeah. Got one. Yes. Come on, baby. Oh, pulling drag. Dude, what the heck? Tell me this is not a catfish eating a clutch. Oh my gosh. No, it's a bass. No, it's no, it's no. No. Gosh darn it. He pulled drag. Gosh dang it. That was a freaking three pounder or something like that. Damn. <laughs> All it takes for a fish to get him fired up is just insult them. You know, just be like, there's no bass in here. They don't. Oh man, I just thought I got rocked again. Jeez. There's a little area out there. Like, I don't know if it's like a, a fall, a drop off or something, but I was like hitting bottom and all of a sudden I wasn't. And boom, he just got wrecked. Dude, that fish pulled drag for a second. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. It, I was it over did. there. Go, down, GoPro, down. GoPro has it. Like it, it definitely pulled drag. Well, I think it's the same one we caught first time. I don't know. The only bass that eats in this pond. Dang, mini clutch got him fired up. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Woo! Got me all tingly inside. Now, now I don't want to leave. But we have to graph this pond now. There's too many unanswered questions about this pond. And plus, I want to see the underwater structure that we built and put out here. I want to yeah, see what it looks you. like on a an electronics graph or something. I think we should work this dam a little bit more though. And then we'll go get our special equipment for today's mission. Now I'm really glad that we did get that one bite. That that makes me feel like we're we're kind of doing a decent job of maintaining the bass population. I don't know. I, do you think we've put enough fish in here? Bass in here? I think we have, but I want to put more. Yeah. I mean we've. I mean anything helps at this point. All Anyways, right. that's a, that's for a whole other video. But for today, what we really wanted to do, what we set out for today, was to create kind of a an idea of what the bottom of this pond looks like. So in other words. I wanted to put some type of sonar in here, some type of fish finder, so we can check things like depth, water temperature, contour, structure, laydowns, all that stuff. And there's a number of ways that you could do it. But how I like to do it is using this little device right here from our good friends over at Deeper. This right here is the new Deeper Chirp device. Now, I, love, I know it looks kind of odd. It's like a little green egg, right? Doesn't really feel like this is the type of thing that would help us with today's mission, but it's going to come into play big time. Just some of the features of Deeper, but the things that are really gonna matter to you guys. One, it allows you to create detailed contour maps of the water that you're fishing. And not just limited to boats or even kayaks, but you can do it from the bank, which is what I'll be doing today. You can also mark your fish catch locations down to the exact GPS point. You can even create labels for the places where you caught fish, like a river channel or a dock or a specific lay down on the lake. That way you can go back to those exact spots later on. But my personal favorite thing to do with the deeper, I've done it before on the channel, I like to tie this thing to a rod with a little adapter right here and cast it from the bank and be able to get full fish finder and chirp capabilities without even having to put, get in your water at all, which is a huge advantage when you own your own pond like we do, but we can't put a boat in here. The best part is the entire thing is controlled via an app on your phone. I mean, we always have our phones with us. It just makes sense that you can run all this technology in your smartphone, through your smartphone that's in your pocket. If you guys wanna check out Deeper, there'll be a link right in the top of the description. They're even willing to give you guys a 10% discount because you guys are the best subscribers on YouTube. Use promo code LOJO10 when ordering any of these products from Deeper and you'll get yourself a little 10% discount, save some money, be able to explore some of your local ponds, lakes, and rivers, being able to do it from the bank, but you can still do it from your kayak and your boat too, if you want to. Now, are you ready to see what's in this lake, buddy? So ready. Yeah. I'm ready to see it too. I'm ready to see a lot of things. Let's drop her in there. All right, now I think this thing automatically cuts on once it gets in the water. So we're just gonna let him sit right there. There's a billion brim just going to it. Let's pull up our little handy dandy deeper app right here. See if we can connect our devices. Deeper chirp, boom, right there. Gonna connect to that bad boy. Has its own Wi-Fi network, man. It's a little bobber with a Wi-Fi network. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, so we're connected. Let's go back to the app. All right, boom, guys. We're starting to get some information here. So here, the top right corner, you got the, the basic stuff, right? You got water depth, 2.7 feet, which obviously it's right in front of us because we're just trying to get a little test going. Water temperature, 78 degrees, very nice. And look at all those little blips right there, guys. Those are brim because at this part of the pond, for whatever reason, the brim just love to hang out. I mean, you can maybe even see them on the camera, but look at all those brim dude, just freaking hanging out. That's crazy. Yeah. So what I'd like to do now, so we've got, we've got it up and running, super easy interface to get this thing running. 
Let's chuck this bad boy out to this point right here and just kind of see. Whee! Just scared everything. I'm gonna get it kind of off the point a little bit and just kind of see what it looks like right off that point. Gets the five foot deep right there pretty quick. Yeah, I know. It goes down to 5.2. All right, boom. So we got some five foot water right here, right off that point. That must mean there's a pretty sharp little decline off that point, which is exactly what I want to see. Now it's really hard to see like what's on the bottom, but there's definitely not that much fish going on. Let's pull it out a little bit, see if the water gets deeper. Ha <laughs> get it deeper. Because it's a deeper. Dude, look, we're in we're in eight feet of water now. No way. Yeah, look at that. 7.98 foot. And we only moved it like a couple feet out. That's yeah. a really yeah. hard. That's a hard. You can oh, see shoot. It. Is that our, you think that's our brush pile? I don't know. Pro probably. Oh, dang. Dude, that might be our brush pile. What's up? Either that or it's a lay down or something. That could be the massive lay down that's always snagging yeah. us out there and breaking our lures off. Breaking Very out. well could be. Dang. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you that's a lay down right there. We're back out to seven feet. That is so cool, man. It's crazy. I want to play with the settings some too and see what, uh, let's get some fish icons up in here. Whoa. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. That may not be like 1000% accurate. You know, let's go to basic. Let's go to basic mode here. With all the catfish, I wouldn't doubt it though. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I like basic mode better. So we were in like the super detailed mode, right? Okay. I want to be in basic mode. Because I'm a basic bi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these fish icons, man. Holy moly. But you know what? That doesn't surprise me, though, because we know the catfish hang out here. So there's there could literally be this many catfish. Look, it's even got, like, different size icons for the different sizes That's of weird. signatures. That's so cool. That's crazy, man. Now, Andrew and I, if you guys remember, we have put three different pieces of man-made structure in this pond. And one of them we put in what we thought was maybe the deepest point of the pond up here by the, uh, the the drain. So I wanna cast this thing out and see if we can see that brush pile on these detailed chirp electronics. It's probably about right, don't you think? Yeah. Eight feet? Wow, a little eight foot action, I like that. All right, so we got some pretty deep water here, which is exactly where we, what we thought when we drop that brush pile down, but we gotta find that brush pile. Uh oh. Oh, snap. That, that might be it. <laughs> that might be it. Dude, you think that's it? Very possible. I mean, you dropped it right there. Yeah. That might be it, what we're seeing right there. And, and if it would, if it's just sitting on top of it, you gotta remember we're not like trolling, you know what I mean? Right, so right. if it's just sitting on top of it, it's gonna be really long like this. Yeah, I think this is it, dude. Yeah. I really think this is it. All right, well, we're pretty sure that's the dang brush pile that we're seeing right there, which is just the coolest thing ever. So you can definitely see the old brushy brush. Look at all that bait running away from the deeper. <laughs> Jeez, this this dang pond is loaded with bait, that's for sure. You remember this, buddy? We had a gigantic fish on this trot, trot line, bank line float, floater thingy. And it got snagged on a huge piece of cover. You guys have already seen this video. We tried to winch this thing loose and the, the, the cord literally broke. So, it's very likely that this is just like the biggest tree known to mankind. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Yeah, look, you can see it there too. Look at that. Just a one long piece of structure. Dang. That's got to be it. That's got to be the tree right there. Yeah, what's right off the bottom. Tree. Yeah, that, dude, look how thick that thing is. See, that's how you know, because the brush pile didn't look like that. It was just a bunch of loose pieces. Look how dense that is right there. That is a gigantic log or something right there. And that is what that big fish was caught on. I'm pretty sure... The otter came by and snagged our little catfish that was on there because yeah. I don't think he's on there anymore. So yeah, look, you can just see, I think maybe like that's like a branch coming off of it. That's crazy. You can just see that the tree, the base of the tree. <laughs> that's that's freaking crazy, man, that's nuts. Yeah. All right, Badger, I've got an idea, buddy, okay? We really want to test this deeper out here. So I'm just gonna put the old deeper right there. All right, that looks like a good spot, don't you think? I think so. All right, let's see. <laughs> what it's gonna look like if we feed the old fish right underneath the deeper. I'm gonna see how this thing goes nuts. Dog food action. Dang, you're on it. <laughs> you're on it, boy. Oh yeah, oh boy. Oh gosh. All right, let's get the old phone out. Oh, oh! I thought I ate the, the freaking oh, I've got deeper. The phone. He almost did eat the deeper. 
Oh! <laughs> They're knocking it around. Dude, no! Look at those catfish going ham. Oh, he got my line! No. Oh my oh. god. I don't know why that scared me so bad. Because he could he could have broke the deeper off, honestly. Dude, I think he bit the deeper. He may have. What a Jesus. beast. He was like, that's the biggest piece of dog food I've ever freaking seen. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that whole thing. Dude, look, look at all these fish, man. Look at all these signatures. Look at all these things. That is crazy. I'm trying to get it. They're, they're they're knocking the deeper around so much. Oh my gosh, that was crazy, dude. Dude, what if one tries to eat it for real? One of them's gonna turn on it and eat it. Oh, that oh, the oh, albino! Oh, 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 the albino! <laughs> oh, what another one swiped at it, dude. Look, they're looking at it. They, the they they really they think it's food. That is gnarly. Dude, the white one came right up to it, put his nose on it, and then another one followed it and tried to it thought about eating it for a second. Look, oh. oh. <laughs> oh, no, we just bumped it. What the heck? <laughs> this is crazy. All right, buddy, so hear me out on this one, okay? All don't right. don't just dismiss, don't dismiss the idea yet. Okay. But what if, okay, first of all, the deeper floats, right? Like, For can sure. we agree that that's a, that's a thing? Oh, yeah. The deeper does float? It's a floater. Um, what if we tied a hook to it, <laughs> right? And a piece of line on the underside just and this use this as a bobber. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? So put some bait below it. Put some bait below it. See what it looks like as the, the fish comes up and eats it, right? I mean, am I crazy here? Or That's is this... the most expensive bobber I've ever seen. Right. In my Ow, my <laughs> face jaw. Yeah, that was the only concern I'm having is what what's the difference in line you have on there? Because it looks like you got 50 over here and about 12 on your main line. Well, you know, there might be some discrepancies with that. I'm not going to lie to you. But, uh, hey, look, you got to risk it for the biscuit, yeah, okay? I heard that. If we, look, the good thing is if we lose this rig, if they if it breaks off, we'll just have a, an actual fish fish finder. Nice. Right? Because he'll be dragging this thing around, and we can just come out here and connect to it and just see where he is. And we can just go track him down. Yeah. So, yeah. That wouldn't work. But, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Do your trick there, buddy. I missed him. Mm. I got one. There's one in there. Yes. Good job, buddy. That's me. Tim, hey, buddy, we appreciate your sacrifice. Thank you for serving your country. All right, let's try a little cut bait because we know the catfishies dig that. And they're in a feeding frenzy. So the only thing that could mess this up is maybe the, the deeper. And, oh, wow, that was a little off. That's okay. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, he's like right underneath it. You can see the signatures of fish are starting to move in. Wow. Oh, oh boy, we're getting some hits. Guys, look at that. You see that right there? He just got rocked. Deeper just got rocked. That's good. So something found it finally. <laughs> Come back for it. That's typical out here. A lot of times they won't get it the first time. And I think the resistance of the deeper kind of pulled it back up. As you can see though, oh, there's a big signature right below it right now. Look at those big signatures, guys. Those are, that's a fish underneath it. All right, well, we could not get a fish to eat the hook. We could only get a fish to eat the actual deeper. We should have just put a treble hook on the deeper. <laughs> and when we had a feeding frenzy going on, we should have just, just yoinked one. But that's okay, though. We still got a little bit more graphing that I'd like to do. And then it's on to another adventure. Really want to see what these, oh yes, what these brush piles look like. We're about to get, <laughs> we're about to get in it. Like I'm, I'm like on the stick. I'm like on it right now. Actually, I may have went too far. See, that's the edge of it right there. Most action you've had all day. Ooh. It's a solid 3.9er feet deep out there. <laughs> solid 3.9. Dang. Yeah, so deep. <laughs> I see her. Oh, I see her. I see her. That's a piece of it. I can't I can't get it to sit in the same spot long enough to get it, but that's definitely a piece of it right there. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, we could not secure a fish catch on the electronic deeper bobber. Who knew you could use it as a bobber? <laughs> I think we both just kind of looked at it as it was floating out there scanning the backyard pond. We were just like, hmm. You know, you could really use it as a bobber. 
I think we got really close. Like the bobber, it went down hard. I think if we would have done it right off the bat, yeah, it would have no doubt. I think we had already fed the fish quite a bit. Facts. And they probably seen us a lot and right. heard us a lot. Right. So maybe they were just kind of between. If you combine all that and then the, maybe the deeper the noise that it was making, that sonar, we can't hear it with our human ears, but fish can hear it and feel it. So maybe that was just enough to kind of push them away. But bet you if we were to try it later on today after they've gone an entire day of kind of settling down. They might catch some fish, but either way, obviously a really cool electronic tool, not just if you own your own backyard pond, but if you're a bank angler, fishing creeks, ponds, lakes, whatever. I've always loved the deeper as a bank angler because there was no other way that I knew of to be able to get sonar technology out into the body of water that you're fishing from the bank. I mean, everybody knows boats and kayaks can have mounted electronics on them, but I've always really liked the deeper in this situation. So big shout out to Deeper for sponsoring today's video. And remember, hit the link in the description if you wanna check them out. Use code LOJO10 to get 10% off your order. Badger and I have some really cool videos coming for you guys, so make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification enabled. We've got more pond stocking videos. We've got more swamp videos. We've got more hidden pond videos. The hits are just gonna keep on coming. We're actually pushing into hunting and trapping season here in Alabama. And we know we've got at least one wild animal that we have to trap really soon because he's just demolishing my fish population. That's Mr. Otter that I know is living in that pond. But all that is coming soon. Also get in that comment section, make sure you give us ideas for future videos. We definitely pay attention to the comment section. We see good video ideas and we write them down and we go do them a couple weeks later. So keep doing that. Keep smashing the thumbs up button like you guys have been. You've been truly the best subscribers on YouTube. We're gonna continue to grow out here on the homestead. Oh, by the way, my wife had an idea for the property name, the Hookset Homestead. Oh, snap. That's actually not terrible. That's now, I've seen is. some good suggestions, but that one's pretty good, too. So let me know what you guys think about that. Anyways, folks, we're getting out of here. I love you. See ya.